Hello viewers, welcome to Tech Study Cell. In this video, we will talk about the construction of different AC and DC capacitor, what are the difference between their design and what are the material used to make this capacitor. As in my previous videos, I have already covered how to test different AC and DC capacitor and how this capacitor behave both in AC and DC circuit. If you are interested, I will request you to check those videos. The link is given in the description box. In this video, I will only focus on the design of this capacitor. At first, we will see the construction of polypropylene capacitor, polyester type capacitor and ceramic capacitor, which are the non-polarized or AC capacitor. Then we will discuss with the electrolytic capacitor and tantalum capacitor, which are polarized capacitor. Now we will find one thing common in all type of capacitor. You need two metallic plate like this and an insulating layer in between them to form a capacitor but these two metal plate and the insulating layer between them made from different material for different type of capacitor which we will discuss right now. Now we will see the construction of polypropylene capacitor which is a flim type non polarized capacitor. Now this picture represent the construction of flim type capacitor. If we see this capacitor you will find a protective layer on the top. If we remove this protective layer, you will find the two plate and a dielectric in between. Now this is called polypropylene film capacitor because the dielectric made of polypropylene film like this. This is a polypropylene film. This material used as a dielectric of this capacitor. Now on the top of the dielectric, you will find the metallization which is a conductive layer in this capacitor and use as a plate this metallization layer I am showing you right now you will find see on the top of the polypropylene film you will find there is a coating of metallization which I have shown here now this part is connected to this terminal and in the beneath this plate is connected to this terminal thus this capacitor is from now let's see the construction of this capacitor if you look carefully you can relate this picture with the construction of this capacitor now here you can see this metallization on the polypropylene film is connected to this terminal as you can see and this metallization this one is connected to this terminal or this lid you can see a long strip of polypropylene film with the coating of metallization is from this capacitor Now the construction of both plate is symmetric as this is a non-polar or AC capacitor. See how long the strip of the polypropylene film is. Now see what I have just found inside the polypropylene capacitor. You can see the long strip of polypropylene film. There are two plates which is made of the metallization layer on the polypropylene film. You can easily see this. I am showing you the two plates and then rolled out on a single core. Now in this picture you can see how the both lead is connected with this metal contact layer. You can also see this in this practical capacitor. You can see this lead is connected with this metallic layer. And this lead connected with this metallic layer. Which is respectively connected with these two metallization on the polypropylene film. Thus this capacitor is designed to work in AC and DC circuit. Now we will see the construction of another flame type capacitor which is polyester type capacitor. 
you can see this is a polyester type capacitor as the insulating layer used in this capacitor is made of polyester film and this is also called box type capacitor as the structure is look like box so you will find the same construction as you have seen earlier in case of polypropylene film capacitor the difference is here insulating or dielectric layer is made of polyester instead of polypropylene this is also a non-polar capacitor which will work both in AC and DC you will see there is two metallization coating above the polyester film in this type of capacitor same as I have shown you earlier and this tool it is connected with these two metallization respectively to form this capacitor now this is encapsulated with this plastic case as I have discussed earlier that the polyester absorb more moisture than polypropylene so to maintain constant capacitance this is encapsulated in this plastic box so you can see the construction is almost same which you have seen earlier now we'll see the construction of ceramic capacitor now here you will see the construction of ceramic capacitor which is also a non-polarized capacitor in this picture you can see the construction of the ceramic capacitor you will find a protective coating on the top which you can see right now and below this protective coating we will find a electrode where lead is connected and in between two electrodes there is a ceramic disc which I have shown in the yellow color in this picture now if you look carefully in this capacitor you will find something similar with this picture this lead is connected with this electrode or this metallic plate this is also called disc type capacitor as it look like a disc and also called as ceramic capacitor as the insulating material used in this capacitor is made of ceramic material so this is also called ceramic capacitor now both electrode is similar in construction as this is a non polarized AC capacitor so I hope you can see it this lead is connected with this electrode or this metallic plate and in between two electrode there is a ceramic disc now we have just seen the construction of ceramic capacitor now the change of the capacitance value with respect to temperature is non-linear so this capacitor used as a bypass or decoupling purpose now we will move to construction of polarized or DC capacitor right now we will see the construction of this electrolytic capacitor to see the construction you will see a plastic case on the top as you can see if we remove the plastic case let me remove it now we will find this aluminium made metal case and here you can see these are the two terminal this is positive and this is negative terminal now let me remove this metal case to see what inside in this capacitor now I have removed this metal case now you can see a drop of liquid electrolyte which also serve as a cathode plate of this capacitor now let me show you the internal structure of this capacitor now after removing the metallic case you will find both anode and cathode plate and an insulating layer in between let's see this now here you can see these are the two plate present in this capacitor now this is the anode plate which are positive plate and this is a cathode plate the negative plate both of these plate made of aluminium but the color is different because on the anode plate there is a fine coating of 
oxide layer which act as a dielectric but in case of cathode plate there is no such oxide coating so these are the different in construction in anode and cathode plate for this type of aluminum electrolyte capacitor now you can see there is a spacer between these two plate which is this paper type material which is used to avoid metallic contact between these two plate for this purpose this paper type material placed between these two plate which act as a spacer now you can see this paper is wet as a liquid electrolyte present in this capacitor so this is called electrolytic capacitor now this liquid electrolyte is conductive in nature which placed around this oxide layer and also serve as a cathode plate and electrically connected with this cathode layer or cathode plate and this plate is connected with the negative lead of the capacitor as the thickness of the oxide layer is very fine so space between these two plate is very small and the area of the anode plate is very high so this form high capacitance now we'll see how this two plate is connected with this two lead you can see this is a positive lead the length is greater than the negative lead now here this oxide coated anode plate is connected you can see now this is a cathode plate no such oxide coating present in this plate as i have mentioned earlier you will find it is connected from inside with this negative terminal this is the construction of this aluminum electrolyte capacitor you will find two aluminum plate as you can see here this is a anode plate and this is a cathode plate and in between there is a spacer and here the oxide coating on the anode plate act as a dielectric now sometime you will see this type of electrolytic capacitor where the two terminal placed in both side of the capacitor now here this is indicated minus or negative so this is a negative terminal and this is a positive terminal and the internal structure of this capacitor is same as this capacitor just the difference is terminal is placed in both side of the capacitor now we have seen the construction of electrolytic capacitor now this capacitor used in decoupling circuit or noise filtering in power supply and also act as a dc link circuit in variable frequency drive now we'll discuss another type of electrolytic dc capacitor which is tantalum capacitor now we'll discuss the construction of tantalum capacitor you can see this positive sign indicate this is a positive terminal and this is a negative terminal as this is a polarized capacitor you can use this capacitor only in dc circuit let's see the construction of this type of capacitor this is called tantalum capacitor as the anode electrode is made of tantalum you can see the anode electrode here this is made of tantalum on the anode electrode there is a oxide coating which act as a dielectric now the permittivity of this dielectric layer is very high so this can form large capacitance value with small size so this is also used as a smg capacitor now you can see this is a cathode lead which is connected with the manganese dioxide which is a solid electrolyte present in this capacitor which serve as a cathode plate thus this capacitor is from 
now if you break this core you will find this is made of tantalum and here on the protective body you will find the manganese dioxide which serve as a cathode plate and which is also a solid electrolyte present in this capacitor so this is a construction of tantalum capacitor now though the size is small for the higher capacitance value this capacitor is expensive than other electrolytic capacitor now in this video we have discussed about the construction of both non-polarized and polarized capacitor you have seen the different material used for different capacitor i hope you have enjoyed the video if you find this video helpful please hit the like button and share it with your friend and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day